when I met my wife, before we even became engaged, the first question I made, are you ready to carry this load with me? Because you are not the only person in my life. And you are not number one in my life. I said to her, there's someone that is occupying my heart. And if you dare want to compete with this person, let's leave our arrangement now. If you see my wife, you'll collapse. She is super beautiful. She looked like an angel. I was ready to lose her at that moment because I love God more. Beauty did not deceive me to betray my relationship with God. I said, God is number one. You are number two. If you have a problem, Let's leave the arrangement. Ever since I entered into my union with my wife, I've been having peace because my number one is the one that is holding my marriage. If you make Jesus your number one lover, your marriage will be successful. Because when trouble enter the house, there is going to be a referee that will bring peace. Some of you, your marriages have collapsed because your partner your spouse was your number one. When trouble came knocking, when Satan came knocking, when witches came knocking, when family members came knocking, no one mightier came to answer the call. When you have Jesus as a senior husband of the house, when this trouble comes, you will answer your witches. You will answer family members who are bringing trouble. You will answer Satan. You will answer critics. You don't need to say anything. You become the defender of your union. That's why loving your partner more than you love God it is the greatest mistake under the sun. Your partner has a breaking point. Jesus does not. I said to my wife, you need to love God more than you love me. Because I'm a human being, I have a breaking point. Jesus does not. 